The Biscuit Brothers presents The Broken Oven. It was a busy day in the Biscuit Brothers Bakery. The villagers always came to Henry and George's Bakery for breakfast and sometimes to get treats for after dinner. On this particular morning, things had been so busy that they ran out of biscuits earlier than they had expected and needed to make some more. George, do we still have that extra bag of flour? Why, yes. I do believe I saw it in the storage room beside the oven just the other day. I'll go grab it. George went into the storage room and looked around, but he did not see the bag of flour. Henry, by any chance did you move the bag of flour that was back here? I don't see it anywhere. Did you check against the back wall? George went to check against the back wall to see if he saw the extra bag of flour. To his surprise, he did see it, but it was stacked high on top of some boxes. Just wonderful. Well, I suppose I would just have to climb up there and get it. George climbed all of the boxes until he was at the very top where the bag of flour was. Ah, here we are. I'll just take this bag down and we'll be ready to go. No sooner had George said that when he lost his balance and boxes flew everywhere. Oh, oh. Ah! George, are you all right back there? I heard a cross, a bang, and a splat. Well, the crash was the boxes falling, the bang was me falling, and the splat was the bag of flour falling. <sighs> oh, you found it. Splendid. Do bring it up here quickly. We have to get these biscuits going, you know. George struggled to pick himself up off of the floor and get the bag of flour up to the front to Henry. Eh, here you go, Henry. The two brothers got right to work preparing the biscuits for baking in the oven. All right, George, now all we have to do is stick these biscuits into the oven, and voila, we will have a fresh batch of biscuits for everyone to eat. But when Henry put the biscuits into the oven, he noticed something was wrong. Hmm, something is not right here. George, uh, can you come and have a look and see if you can spot anything wrong here? George bent down and peered into the oven with a rather puzzled look on his face. Hmm, I do believe you're right, Henry. Something definitely does not look right with this oven. But what could it be? The brothers puzzled and puzzled and thought and thought. Finally, George said, it would be so much easier to see what was wrong if the light on the inside of the oven was on instead of off. George, that's it. That is what is wrong. The oven light is not on when I open the door. The oven light always comes on when I open the door, but this time it did not. That must be what was so strange. Henry pressed the button to turn on the oven light, but surprisingly, nothing happened. I say, George, when I press this oven light button, the oven lights should turn on. But when I press it like this, nothing happens and the light stays off. Something is keeping this oven light from working. I wonder what it could be. I know. Maybe if we press one of the other buttons, the oven will make a beeping sound. Every time that I press a button on the oven to make it hotter or colder, the button beeps. That will tell us whether or not the oven is working. George pressed the button to make the oven hotter, but the button did not make any noise. Oh no! Our oven must be broken! The brothers were very upset about the oven being broken. Just then, Mrs. Nelson walked into the bakery. Hello, boys! I am having a dinner party tonight, and I would like some of your delicious biscuits to serve to all of our guests. We're terribly sorry, Mrs. Nelson, but our oven seems to be broken at the moment, and we don't know how to fix it. Did you check to see if the oven light was on? Actually, yes. That was the first thing that we tried. The oven light was off, and even when we pressed the button, the oven light would not turn on. Okay. Did you see if the buttons to make the oven hotter and colder make a beeping sound when you pressed them? Yes, that was the second thing we tried. But the buttons did not make any beeping noises when we pressed them. Just then, Miss Nelson began to smile and she reached into her purse and pulled out a hard hat, a tool belt, and the biggest wrench you've ever seen. Stand back, boys. This is the job for Mrs. Nelson. I studied every repair in school, you know. Mrs. Nelson hurried to the back of the storage room, where she immediately found the problem. Aha! Here's the problem, boys. It looks as if these boxes fell over and turned off the power switch to the oven. 
With one push of her wrench, Mrs. Nelson flipped the power switch on, and the oven light came on. The brothers were very happy to have the oven working again, and Mrs. Nelson was excited that her party could have some of the brothers' delicious whiskers to serve. Mrs. Nelson, you saved the day! You fixed our oven! I'll say, three cheers for Mrs. Nelson! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! The brothers both thanked Mrs. Nelson, and they even made her an extra bundle of biscuits to thank her for fixing the oven. Thank you so much, boys! Now my party will be a huge success! I don't know what I will do without you boys! The brothers just looked at each other and laughed. Actually, Mrs. Nelson, we don't know what we would do without you! The End For merchandise, books, and other fun, please visit us at starlightstudiosllc.blogspot.com And don't forget to hit that subscribe button! See you later!